Have you ever read a very violent, but one of the greatest mysteries yet a great book? Well, that's what this book fits in. Inferno by Dan Brown himself, author of The Da Vinci Code, which I have not read, will read soon, and well, let's get right on to it. This book was actually is for middle schoolers, so well, I'm leveling up, and it's for you guys, and personally, it was very violent, but still, it was a very thrilling mystery. The whole book is about a professor of symbology named Robert Langdon, who was a great man and who knew a lot about the history of Italy, Italy and the art history. And there's a message, a message left within a point blank pointer, pointer. and it, he wakes up Robert Langdon, no memory, nothing of what occurred in the last 36 hours. Then he was like, um, what am I doing here? And then he gets attacked. People with guns come to claim his life. He finds himself in the run with another, a doctor named Sienna Brooks. Together they run and they try to find the key to all of this. A couple days ago, ago, someone has died. A suicide, actually. A man named Zorbist. Betran Zorbist. He was a green-eyed genius, but also a maniac. He was a genius, but he believed that if there were too many people, that the human were a disease, like cancer cells. Cancer cells are ordinary cells, if there are not too many of them, of course. If, they, if there's too many cancer cells, we all know what happens. And Bertrand Zorbist thought that uh, there's too many humans on this planet, and that they must die. Very, very violent. <laughs> And he killed himself, and he said he left a gift, a gift for all humanity. The Inferno, as he called it, submerged in some sort of water. And he's saying that his Inferno it would rip through the human population and perhaps cure this disease. He said, climate change, global warming. The ice cap, polar ice caps melting, the ozone layers breaking, the air pollution, the water pollution, all this because of overpopulation. And those aren't the problems, they are the symptoms, and the problem is the human population. And Veteran Zorbist makes some sort of virus, a thing that will kill you faster than you can blink. Of course, it is later revealed that it's not, but still, I'm not trying to spoil things, so... <laughs> and our dear main character, he is going through the whole thing. And he's trying to solve the mystery of where Betran Zorbist hid the plague. Or, otherwise known as the very evil Inferno. And this dude, this man named Betran Zorbist, he was ob obsessed with Dante. And so he left a code, a code inside Dante's Segus, Rings of Hell. And Robert Langdon must go, th go through it, solve the mystery, and find the plane before it is too late and it destroys half of the human population. You know what this book reminds me of? Thanos. I mean, anyone who saw Avengers Infinity War will know that Thanos was like, um, I am inevitable, and he was like, there are too many people, and in the universe, resources are finite, which means that if this population growth continues on, 
life will cease to exist. And he said that the only cure for this was to kill half of the population using the power of the infinity gauntlets and blah blah blah. And personally, I think it connects to that. Veteran Zorbist thought that the human population was the disease and the symptoms were, well, all of our problems that we don't want to think about. And I think we need to face them head on, actually. And this guy, he thought that killing half the population would solve the whole problem, such as did the villain Thanos did. And I think that that's a pretty big connection. And also, I think that Robert Langdon is quite a genius to look through that mystery. I mean, he's like a detective, like an art detective, if you know what I mean. And he's a professor at Harvard University, so that means he's pretty smart. And he goes through the mystery, and he solves the mystery of the Dante mask. Goes through it, tries to find what veteran Zorbist has left. We don't know. And you... We'll only know if you read this book. And personally, I mean, as I said, it connects with Thanos' the snap. And, I mean, anyone who reads this, this book will just be just like, I don't want to think about this. I'm just going to live my life and focus on my own problems. And it actually states that in this book, that people don't want to think about it. They kneel. They don't, they look to more mundane problems, not these depressing things. But uh, this book teaches you that you have to face it head on. And this book, what happens in this book, might be the near future for us. Because the statistics and science in this book is absolutely true and possible. The math is inevitable and it says that the human population and the earth will be overpopulated in a couple of years. And I think that this book teaches you that you have to stand head on. I highly recommend you to read this book. Maybe if you're like 6th grade or 7th grade because it's kind of, kind of hard to read. And great book and it teaches you a lesson about nature. And it also teaches a lot of cool facts about Dante and the history of Italy. That's what I call a great mystery book. And like always, Bookwester wherein the Bookwester, like I said, teaches you a whole lot of information about the human population and even art.